August 13, 1961, was the day the Cold War heated up. German citizens awoke to the sounds of the Berlin Wall being constructed. What had been a city divided by politics became a city divided by stone. When World War II ended, the defeated country of Germany and its capital city of Berlin were divided in half. The Soviet Union controlled the East, and the Allied powers of England, France, and the United States occupied the West. The city of Berlin was located inside communist-controlled East Germany, with access given to the Allies through Soviet-held territory. Since the war years, West Berlin had become a thriving industrial metropolis and was a continuing irritant to the Russians. It showed to the world, and to the East Germans in particular, the contrast between the communist and capitalist ways of life. Even worse, West Berlin was the only breach in the impenetrable Iron Curtain. It had long provided an escape route for thousands upon thousands of communism's top professionals and intellectuals. After the failed Bay of Pigs invasion, Berlin suddenly took center stage in the world arena. On June 15, 1961, Soviet Premier Khrushchev declared his intention to sign a treaty with East Germany, which would cut off free access to the city and terminate all Allied rights in West Berlin. The city had remained relatively quiet for almost a decade, but with this pronouncement, Khrushchev transformed it into a tinderbox. At the UN, President Kennedy made the Allied position clear. There is a dangerous crisis in Berlin, and there is. It is because of threats against the vital interests and the deep commitments of the Western powers and the freedom of West Berlin. We cannot yield these interests. We cannot fail these commitments. We cannot surrender the freedom of these people for whom we are responsible. On August 13th, Russia carried through with its threat and closed the border between East and West Berlin. Within days, the Berlin Wall was erected.